All right, so let's take a look back at the divisional round based upon a couple of different categories. And we begin with most impressive team. And let me go first because I need to get some of the Bengals fans off my ass. The Bengals were the most impressive team this weekend. I'm sorry that there were three epic games after yours. Your game was great, but it got upstaged by 49ers Packers, which got upstaged the next day by Rams Bucks, which got upstaged by Chiefs Bills. I'm sorry we didn't spend two hours yesterday talking only about your game. Lay off me, I'm starving. The Bengals were the most impressive team this weekend because of what they did. They had the biggest upset. They went into the lion's den. A Titans team that knows damn well how vulnerable the one seed can be because they beat the Ravens two years ago when they were the one seed. To go in there and pull off that victory was amazing, was impressive. They went 11,352 days between postseason wins and then seven days between postseason wins. That was impressive. A total team effort to advance. They were the most impressive team this weekend yeah, it was it was I, I think maybe what i look at is it was definitely the most surprising win you know where the other three games i felt like could go any way right uh that one was the one i felt like now nah, i think tennessee just a little bit better of a football team and cincinnati it'll be close because hey i know they got good players and joe burrow but I, I really did think tennessee that was maybe the most shocking result uh, the other games, you're right, more theatrics, you know, shocking because one team had control and then the other one did, and it just was all over the place, but impressive. But here's one thing I will say about the Bengals, a little bit that scares me, all right? I've never seen a team go to the Super Bowl or get to the Super Bowl with the way they're with, with an offensive line that just got absolutely railed the way it did in divisional Saturday. That's that's what I that's one thing just that just jumps out to me. I've never seen a team win the Super Bowl or really go to the Super Bowl where an offensive line absolutely got steamrolled in a divisional round game and they still got there. That that, that it's amazing they won the game off of that and that's one of my concerns about them going forward. Uh, but either way, shocking, surprising, unbelievable win by the Bengals. You know what I'm going to go with here? I mean, we know the Bills and Chiefs played a a good close game there. I, the, the most impressive team of the weekend when they were playing in their best was the Los Angeles Rams. I think that, to me, is the team I'm going to take. I am. Because when I saw everybody's A game on Saturday and Sunday, the Rams' A game was the one that jumped out the most to me. You know, And, again, I know they made mistakes and all that. And people can sit here and go, oh, the Bucks made mistakes. And I go, well, they made them make those mistakes. I don't know. I mean, we snapped the ball in the shotgun all the time. It wasn't like the center was like, oh, my gosh, it's the Bucks. I'm going to snap the ball 30 feet over my quarterback's head. You know, Cooper Cup fumbling the ball. I mean, he's caught the ball in the flat and got tackled like that 100 times this year. You know, so that's where I don't go, oh, my gosh, it was the Bucks. What unbelievable hits. Cam Akers, his two fumbles. You know, those are, those are standard protocol plays that way. But, man, the game plan from McVay on the offensive side of the ball, the Rams were never Never overwhelmed. They really moved the ball whatever they wanted throughout the day. They protected Stafford, which I thought was a big question in the game. Stafford was phenomenal. The receivers were phenomenal. And, of course, the defense of what they did and pressuring Brady and all that. Again, that's a game where I know it was a field goal to win it, but it could have been 40-10. to 10. It was very close to 40-10. to 10. It probably should have been 40-10. to 10. But I thought they were the most impressive team when I saw them at their best of this weekend, Mike. Well, and, you know, that bodes well for them moving forward if they can put it all together and yeah. finally finally get past the 49ers who have owned them in recent years. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.